Hey guys, it's Salem and welcome back to my channel or welcome to our channel if you are new here. So as you can see by the title, I did a chit chat, get ready with me doing this look today. And it's all about my new year's resolutions and goals and what I wanna achieve for 2020. I really wanna know what everyone's new year's resolutions are as well. So comment down below what your plans are for the new year of 2020. I really do want to read your comments and see what you guys have um, planned for this year. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into the video so i pretty much have nothing on my skin right now and my skin feels really dry so i'm actually going to go in first quickly with brows and i'm using today the elf ultra precise brow pencil in doesn't say but i will have it listed somewhere on the screen and i really need to get my brows done so i'm just going to quickly fill them in so today I'm feeling more of a sort of rose look, maybe something, I don't know, gold. Now that I have my brows on, I'm gonna go into primer and the primer I'm using today is one that's quite old and I haven't used in a long time. That is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer. This one is in, uh, uh, radiant yellow which is as you can see more of a yellow undertone so it's going to look something like that and i'm just going to put this more so on the cheeks because i get quite a lot of redness in that area so the yellow is supposed to just tone that down and brighten the skin so now that I have my primer on, I'm gonna go straight into foundation. And the foundation I'm using today is the NYX Born to Glow foundation. I really want a radiant looking foundation today. Um, and this is in the shade Light. So in today's video, as you guys can see by the title, it's gonna be kind of a chatty one. So I just wanna talk about what my new year's resolutions are. And I also wanna know what your new year resolutions are as well in the comment section down below. So let me know what your um, plans are for this year, your goals and what you want to achieve this year. So for me, it's more so YouTube related. I definitely want to put out a lot more content and videos and I want to film a lot more than I am now. So um, I have a lot of time on my hands so I have the opportunity to film a lot more. And I also wanna have a schedule and be more organized with YouTube. I also wanna be a little more creative. I wanna come out with really, really good kind of content um, for you guys to watch. I don't know what people like to see on YouTube nowadays. I don't know if people watch makeup tutorials anymore like I'm doing today. So let me know if you know you guys still like watching makeup tutorials or if you prefer more reviews on new products. So the concealer I'm going in with today is the Jouer uh, Essential High Coverage Concealer in Lace. And I wanna try it again because when I first used it in one of my videos, a few videos back I used it for the first time and I didn't actually like it but let's see today maybe with this primer it will hydrate it a little bit more because I did find it was quite drying so I'm just gonna go in with that and I typically like to do like base first and then eyes I know I'm crazy I know a lot of people love to do eyes and then their base but I just can't do it that way let me know down below as well in the comment section if you guys do your base first or you do your eyes first I'm gonna use this concealer to clean up my brows as well. Jumping straight into setting my concealer and the rest of my face, I'm gonna use a new product today that I haven't tried before and this is the Makeup Revolution Baking Powder in Banana Light. So when they came out with a Banana Light, I was really excited because it's gonna be that yellow undertoned powder but in a lighter version so it's not so yellow. So I'm gonna try this today and I think I'm gonna set it with that Real Techniques Dome brush. Let's see if it's gonna be too yellow or too dark. Okay, I'm definitely seeing the yellow in it. You can see it's added some color to my face. So 
So now I'm going to move straight on to my eyes and I'm going to be using today the Colourpop Sweet Talk palette. I showed this in my Ulta haul and I haven't used it yet so it's going to be my first time. I'm just so excited to use this palette. It has all these beautiful rosy tones um, and I just really want to play around with those sorts of colours today. I'm going to go into my first shade and the first shade I'm going to use today I think is going to be this one which is called Dream Maker. So I'm going to use this just in my crease and see what kind of look I come up with. So apart from YouTube being uh, my main New Year's resolution and just making that a top priority, I also want to travel a lot more. I think that's kind of like everyone's New Year's resolution, but I definitely want to see a lot more um, places, mainly a lot more US states because I do love... The United States so much um if you can't already tell I'm just super obsessed with America and a lot of people don't like that I like America I'm not sure why but I really do love the country I want to visit a lot of states and cities um Chicago is one San Francisco Boston as well so I'm really liking how this crease and this colour is looking at the moment. So next I'm going to go into ICYMI. I have no idea what that's supposed to say. And putting it right in the centre, in the crease. So yeah, a lot of travelling is what I would love to do. And apart from US states, I would also love to visit... Japan that's my like number one country that I really want to visit like really really want to visit Japan Switzerland as well Canada is like a dream to live there as well so we have something like that and then now I'm going to go into a darker shade I think I'm going to go into feel free this burgundy right there and let's pack this right here on the outer corner and this is a matte. Actually, everything I've used so far is a matte. This is a really nice colour. It's not too red because a lot of burgundies in palettes tend to come up too pink or too red. This is like the perfect brown, deep wine brown colour. So yeah, travelling and YouTube are my main New Year's resolutions. I guess eating healthy as well. My diet is actually pretty poor. Um, and I'm not ashamed to admit that I really don't eat healthily. Um, I'm not someone who eats salads and fruit and much vegetables, which I know is really bad. A lot of my diet consists of snacking um, and sugar because I have the biggest sweet tooth ever. Like I just love sweets and sugar. That's one thing I think I should probably work on this year as well is just trying to incorporate healthier foods in my diet i go into this shade right here which is called work it a nice very light peach yellow shade beige shade as you can see it gives a nice gradient and adds a touch of uh brown in the look So now we're going to go into our lid colour and for today I think I'm going to be using this one which is called Side to Side. That one right there and it's a really nice kind of peach gold. And I'm just taking this on my finger and applying that. It's almost like a glitter, pressed glitter, more than a shimmer eyeshadow. So I'm taking the e.l.f. Dewy Skin Mist and I'm just going to spray this Morphe brush down um, just to pick up some of that pigment and see if it is going to make it more intense. So it's taking that same eyeshadow. Let's see. Okay, much better. So I would recommend using it with a brush rather than your finger because there's more chunks than anything so you're going to need a brush to pick it up i'm going to take a little of work it which was that kind of peachy brown and i'm gonna just run that underneath the lower lash line Ooh. 
I'm liking these colors together. For my eyeliner today, it's not the NYX and it's not the MAC. It's going to be a different one. This is the e.l.f. Precision, Precision, Precision Liquid Liner in black. And I love this one because it's really affordable, but at the same time, it um, gives you a lot of control over how you want to do your wing. So we have just a simple wing like that, and I'm going to repeat it on the other side. So as I'm doing that, let's talk about something else. I don't know if you guys know, but I um, quit my job last year to pursue YouTube and I haven't looked back since. I seriously enjoy creating videos so much. Like you guys have no idea. I've been on YouTube for I think five years now, maybe even six years. Um, and I was never doing it consistently, but as you can tell, I've really been taking it a lot more serious now since I've quit my job and you know, I'm loving it. It's definitely hard work to film and edit and put out videos that people are gonna love. So I just finished off that eyeliner and I forgot what I was saying, but um, it was something along the lines of me not working and pursuing a YouTube career, which I'm absolutely enjoying. And like I said, there are some downs to it, but there's also some ups and there's more ups than downs. And I do think that you should be doing YouTube if you absolutely love it and not for the business aspect of it. So I'm, you know, loving just creating content and doing what I can for now and just see where it takes me. And I think if you love doing something, then you should never give up and you should just pursue that and just keep doing that until one day you will reach your goal. And that is what I'm doing. I'm just following my dream and my passion. And this is something that I've loved doing for five years now. And the reason I never did it consistently before was because I was working at Mac, I was working at Bare Minerals, I was working at Tom Ford, and I was working full time. So I never had that time to really be consistent with YouTube. Maybe I'll have upload days. So if you guys prefer that rather than random uploads, then let me know. I can definitely put out videos, let's say every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Friday, Saturday so let me know if you guys prefer like scheduled upload dates and you know I can look into doing that so now I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics blushing in barley palette so first time using this as well I'm going to be using I think lychee which is this really pale pink and then I'm going to use a highlighter in here as well I haven't, I haven't done my bronzer what am I talking about let me do my bronzer I'm like all over the place Fenty Beauty instant warmth front <laughs> instant warmth bronzer in private island so now we're going to go into the blush uh, like I said that pale Bubblegum pink one and take a little, ooh, hoo, 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 look at the fallout. Uh, crazy fallout, actually quite a lot. Um, I'm just applying that to the cheeks. For highlighter, I'm going in with Glisten and it's this really pale white gold. I did not expect this kind of glow. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna apply a setting spray afterwards just to melt it all in anyway. For mascara today, I'm gonna be using something different. It's not my Maybelline. It's going to be the Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara. And I really like the waterproof version. So I'm just gonna do my lashes and I'll be right back. For my lips today, I'm using a lip liner. I never use a lip liner. And this is the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. And I freaking love this lip liner. It's like one of my favorites. It goes with any lip. So I'm just going to line my lips with that and I should stop talking when I do this step. I 
So it's gonna look something like this. For my lippy today, I'm gonna be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Athens, which is a really nice peach. Looks something like that. And I thought it'd tie in really nicely with the eyes. I'm gonna go over the lip liner as well. Like look how it just makes your lips look. Especially this lip liner. And you just wanna blend it in. So it just looks like you have naturally full lips. I'm gonna finish it off with my e.l.f. dewy skin mist um, and ooh, we're good to go we're all done so hope you guys really enjoyed this look and don't forget to comment down below what your new year's resolutions are I really want to know what you guys want to achieve for the new year and I think that is it for me as usual if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in my next video